Alright everybody, One UI 5 or better known as Android 13 is here for the Galaxy S22 series. So in this video, I will be going over some of the top new features and changes the Android 13 update brings to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And trust me, there are a ton of new features and changes that you are going to love. And this is Tech Guy Charlie, so without wasting any time, let's start the video. One UI 5 is all about ease of use. One of the best changes they've made is that now you can customize the items on the lock screen such as the clock and notifications right from the lock screen itself. So all you have to do is long press on the lock screen and the phone will give you a live preview of how the lock screen looks and here you can tap on individual items to change how they look like and customize them. One new addition here is that now you can change the font of the clock and not only that, you can also resize the clock. So that is actually really cool. Now this also changes the font of the clock on the always on display. So as you can see, the clock on the always on display has the same font as the clock on the lock screen. Amazing, right? Lastly, you can also add your contact information at the bottom of the screen and also apply a filter to the wallpaper. Awesome, right? And speaking of the wallpaper, they have also completely revamped the part where you pick the wallpaper. So now all of the wallpapers are properly categorized. You've got the pre-installed ones which are the featured and you can see they've also added a couple of new wallpapers. So I don't remember having graphical and solid colors. So these are new and some of these are really nice. And it also shows you a thumbnail preview of the photos in your gallery. So now everything is at one place. Absolutely no need to go into the settings to change items on the lock screen. Every setting related to the lock screen has been consolidated at one single place. Whenever you set a wallpaper, you might have noticed that the phone picks out the colors that are in the wallpaper and creates a set of color palettes which you can use as the system theme. Now, One UI 5 further improves on this feature and now the phone generates quite a few extra color palettes. So now you get a lot of different color combinations to choose from. And if you are not satisfied with the wallpaper colors, you can pick one from a set of basic colors. As you can see, it changes the color of the font as well as many elements of the Android system. You also have the option of setting dual colors as the system theme. So Samsung has improved this feature quite a bit. Remember the calling screen backgrounds? One of the biggest limitations of this feature was that you could not set a different calling screen background for individual contacts. The same background appears for every contact on the phone. Well, One UI 5 takes away this limitation and now you can have different calling screen backgrounds for individual contacts. So check this out, I'm gonna ring up the S22 Ultra from two different numbers and watch what happens. So this contact has a picture of me because this is my alternate number and this one has a picture of a cat. Cool right? So you'll know exactly who's calling you. And the way this works is really simple. You will have to edit the contact for which you want to change the background image. Then tap on view more and scroll down. And here you'll have the option to set a custom background for that particular contact. So now with One UI 5, you can have different calling screen backgrounds for individual contacts. Another thing that's new is now you can extract text from regular screenshots. So let's quickly take a screenshot and you will notice a little T button on the bottom right corner. If you tap on this, the phone will highlight the areas of the screenshot that contains text. And this also includes text in photos. And all you have to do is tap on the text and select the part which you want to copy to the clipboard. And copy. And then you can paste the copied text from the screenshot wherever you want. So this is not possible on One UI 4.1. As you can see, there is no T button to extract the text with regular screenshots. On the older version, you will have to use the Smart Select feature to extract text out of photos, which is kind of cumbersome. So it is good to see that they have brought the ability to extract text from regular screenshots. They've also added a similar feature in the gallery. So the thing is, if any of your photos contains text, 
The gallery is going to show a little T button on the bottom right corner which you can tap and extract text out of the photo. Super convenient, right? Now the thing is we already have a similar feature on One UI 4.1 but it kind of requires you to open Bixby Vision and then go into the text option. So I like what they have done with One UI 5. They have integrated this feature into the gallery itself. Now coming to the home screen, the thing that's new here is you can now combine two or more widgets together by just dragging and dropping them on top of each other. So check this out. We will drag and drop this widget on top of this one and you will see both of them will combine giving us two widgets inside a single one. And you can even edit the stack by long pressing and then edit stack. From here you can remove or add more widgets to the stack. Awesome feature right? Now this feature is actually very similar to smart widgets which is there on One UI 4.1. But you will notice on One UI 5, the smart widget option has been removed from the widget picker. This is because smart widgets have now been completely integrated into the home screen. So the separate option has been removed. And just so you know, this only works with similar sized widgets, so you can't just drag and drop a bigger widget into a smaller one. The size has to be the same for this to work. So there you go. And speaking of widgets, they have added a new widget called Smart Suggestions. This is gonna show you a list of applications and actions based on how you use the phone. So based on the apps that I use, it is suggesting me Instagram, Gallery, Snapchat, Camera, WhatsApp, etc, etc, because these are the apps that I use frequently. Also, whenever you open up the Recents menu, now the phone tells you that there are apps running in the background. So what you can do is tap here and see a list of applications which are active and potentially draining your battery and you can put a stop to them by tapping on stop. So this is a nice addition to One UI 5. Another new and awesome feature of One UI 5 is now you can choose the types of notification and app sends you. To configure, long press the icon of the app for which you want to select the notification type, then tap on the i button and then notifications. Here you'll see an option to configure which types of notification the app is allowed to send you. For example, we can disable the lock screen notifications for WhatsApp. So if I send a message over, you will see that the phone shows us the pop-up notification, but this does not show up on our lock screen. So kinda gives you more privacy. Alternatively, what you can do is leave this enabled and select hide content on the lock screen. So now the notification shows up on the lock screen, but its content is hidden. Meanwhile, all other notifications will show up as normal. Previously, there used to be one setting for every app on the phone, which used to hide every notification on the lock screen. So this is a huge improvement on how the phone shows you notifications. This update also brings new gestures to activate the pop-up and split view modes. So number one, to make apps run in pop-up view, which is also known as the multi-window mode, swipe in from the top right corner of the screen. And there you go. This makes the app run in this pop-up view mode. So let's make this thing full screen back again. Now the second gesture activates the split view mode. All you gotta do is swipe in with two fingers from the bottom of the screen and that is going to activate the split view mode. And from this list you can select the second app which you wanna run in the split view mode. So there you go. Amazing right? Now these two features are disabled by default so you will have to turn them on. So we will go to settings and then scroll down to advanced features. Inside the advanced features tap on labs and enable swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. So these are the two new gestures they've added with One UI 5. You can also enable the option to show the names of apps in the apps edge panel. This is quite useful in my opinion because it will let you know exactly which apps are there. So to enable this feature, you will need to go to the edge panel settings. It's pretty easy. Just open the apps edge panel and then tap on the gear button. It's right over here. Under the apps edge panel, tap on edit, then tap on these three dots and here enable show app names. Now you will be able to see the names of the apps in the apps edge panel. Very useful. 
Now let's head on over to the device care menu because there is a new feature I want to show you guys. So this update also brings something called maintenance mode. This feature protects your personal data such as your pictures, messages, accounts and settings from being accessed by someone else. It is a feature quite useful because you don't have to do a factory reset when you are sending your phone off for repairs or giving it to someone else temporarily. So as you can see in maintenance mode, the phone kind of looks like as if it is back to its factory default settings and nobody will be able to access your personal stuff. As you can see, the gallery is completely empty, but all your stuff is still there on the phone, but it cannot be accessed while the phone is in this mode. And any changes made in the maintenance mode will be automatically discarded once you switch the phone back to its regular mode. So let's do that. As you can see, it requires you to enter your biometrics. So only you can bring the phone back to its normal state. It takes a while to switch back, but yeah, there you go. Everything is back to normal. So you can use this feature if you are dropping your phone off for repairs or giving it to someone else temporarily. Now coming back to the device care menu, another new thing I've noticed is auto optimization. This is kind of a toned down feature of automation which is there on One UI 4.1 and it kind of does more or less the same thing. It will automatically optimize the phone and restart when needed. Also, I recommend that you turn the auto restart option on because it will automatically restart your phone and keep it in the best condition. Next, if you go into the memory tab, now you've got the option to completely turn off RAM plus, which is something that I recommend doing on the S22 Ultra because you've got plenty of RAM and you don't need to use the phone's internal storage as the RAM. Thank you Samsung for giving us the option to switch this thing off. One UI 5 finally brings the ability to add watermarks to your photos. By default, it's gonna show you the model, but you can also enable date and time. To configure this feature, go into the camera settings, then watermark. So first off, you can change the model name. You can even put your name if you like. Then you can toggle date and time, change the font, looks like there are three pre-installed. And lastly, you can also change the alignment. Also in the pro mode, if you tap on the camera lens selector, the phone is going to show you a little eye button which you can tap to see the usage scenario for each one of these lenses. So this is something that's new. And lastly, if you go to the food mode, now you will be able to use the telephoto lens. So these are some of the changes in the camera application. Not a whole lot has changed, only some minor differences. One more change I've noticed is whenever you share a photo which contains items of personal information like credit cards, IDs and passports, the share panel will give you a little warning that hey, you are about to share something that has personal information in it. If you ask my personal opinion, you should never ever share a photo of your credit or debit card or anything that contains personal information over the internet, no matter how trusted your contact is. It's just inviting trouble. One UI 5 also allows you to create your very own stickers from photos in the gallery. So open up a photo in the built-in photo editor in which you want to add a sticker. Tap on the smiley face and go to stickers. Then tap on create sticker. Next, pick a picture from which you want to create a custom sticker. So we will pick this one. Now draw around the area which you want to turn into a sticker. Once you are done, tap on next. And once satisfied, tap on done. And there you go, we have created a custom sticker from one of our very own photos. So now let's go to the settings because here you will see a new menu which says modes and routines. So this modes is a new feature. This automatically changes the phone's settings to match your activity or the situation. For example, I've got the sleep mode set up. It activates automatically at 1 am and upon activation, the phone automatically changes some settings. Like it turns on do not disturb which is the silent mode, turns on eye comfort shield and power savings. And it will automatically turn off at 8 am. And one thing I love about this feature is that it is highly configurable. Like in do not disturb, you can choose which contacts are allowed to ring the phone up even when do not disturb is turned on. So I've added two important contacts and moreover I've also turned on a feature 
which lets the phone ring if a call is received from the same number more than once within 15 minutes. Amazing, right? And you can do the same for driving, like it will automatically switch on once the phone connects to my car stereo, and then this feature will automatically open maps. Now I am not going to explain each and every one of these, otherwise this video will become like 30 minutes long. But yeah, you get the idea. So this is a super useful feature and I would urge you guys to try it out. So these are the 20 big changes worth mentioning. There are more minor changes here and there, but yeah, let's limit ourselves to these 20 big changes. And lastly, other than this, there are some minor changes to the settings UI, like you've got this new connected device menu, which consolidates all of the connectivity options. Oh, and there is also something called Bixby text to call. You can find this feature inside the phone's dialer, settings, and here it is, Bixby text call. So this is like a text to call and call to text service. Basically, you don't have to talk to the other person. The phone will translate the call into text and you can type and the caller will hear an automated voice. Unfortunately, this feature is not available in English. It is Korean only, but the English version is coming soon in 2023. So whenever it comes out, I will make a video about it. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching and if you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. We are almost at the 100,000 subscribers mark. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in another video.